I am man spreading right now. I need to. <laughs> yeah, I need to myself. start wearing pants because I like to like I like to spread eagle. Baby, pants don't make it better. It does make it better because a nut won't fly out. Like you know, like some some other instances. You know what's crazy? Like I didn't care that that your nut was exposed. Yeah, I think if, I would care more if it was like my dick because I know that like probably in that moment it wouldn't look like the best. Right. So I would probably like freak out a little bit with in that situation, but like my nut is like fine. Nut comes in all sizes, you know? Yeah, if you see a small nut, it's not It's like whatever. That doesn't really yeah. matter. It's like the penis that really matters. <laughs> Welcome back to Zane and <laughs> All right. All right. Let's roll to the intro, baby. It's cut. Oh, Jesus. let me get a sip first. I'm not ready. We're in episode 46. This is bad. This is and bad. I don't know when to time my sips. <laughs> you know what? You ready? It's coffee talk, baby. <laughs> That was my first time ever doing that. Honestly, I didn't think I could do it until I did that TikTok. It I was looked, like, oh, it shit. Pretty good. Wow. We did the uh, the air hump by the camera. Uh, yeah, just another TikTok, TikTok move. I just thought another earthquake was happening. <laughs> Y'all feel that? that was, a, was that a fucking fat joke? Somebody's got something on his mind. <laughs> but he's got more on his stomach. Oh, uh, more like less because I lost 14 pounds. You, let, you can take that back. Baby boy. Let's just jump right into it. Uh, anybody got something going on for the week? <laughs> Anything exciting And that's it for today's happen? episode. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're good. Let's wrap it up here. <laughs> um, what did I do? I went to Florida uh, last week or okay, this week. Right, sorry. Right, I just right. got back a couple days ago. Um, Still jet lag. It was good. I, I went back because there was like, you know, just stuff going on. But, you know, during these times, man, everything is just shit. Like whatever problems you have during these times is just it's just 10 times worse because like right. it's just like we're in the worst part of our lives right now. And it's just so depressing. But I just went back. I had to take care of like some stuff and yeah. And it came back my flight. I want to talk about my flight coming back, <laughs> my flight coming back. Remember your story, how you're next to a lady or was like oh, two yeah. ladies that were like harassing There's you. There's a for, disgusting man. man. You'd had like a little cough and they just like freaked out yeah. on you. I had no freak out, but this lady came on the plane dead ass in a full hazmat suit. Hazmat <laughs> suit. Like, <laughs> like I'm not legit. exaggerating. Yeah. But it wasn't yellow. It was white. If it was yellow, I feel like, People would have been like, Can't. "That's a little scary," because then I'd be thinking like, "That bitch got it." You know what I'm saying? Like, or it's like, "What the fuck is on this plane?" You know what I mean? Like, right. what's in what's in the air? I mean, I know we Corona's in the air, but like, what what's in the air where like you got to look like that? But she had a <laughs> she had that full suit. She had a full face guard. She had goggles. You think she had to take it off to go through TSA? <laughs> She oh. had to have. She had to have. What or actually, have? no, they might not have to. She's wearing a belt on underneath the hazmat suit. <laughs> she's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but her dog didn't have any mask on. Canceled. Can't dogs catch it? I or no? heard that in the beginning. They were saying pets could get it. So, But not anymore. Yo, shit, Did the dog vaccines come out? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, what's the truth? I don't know. But like, so she, she walked in, stayed in it the whole time, just sat in her seat. Yeah. And I was trying so hard. There was a couple times where I just, you know, you got to let some coughs out sometimes, you know, because. Like clearing your throat. Yeah, clearing Not your like throat. Not like cough, like I'm sick. Like you and, need to right. clear your throat. And throughout the whole flight, there was like two that like, I just really, I was like, oh my God, I don't. Because I didn't want that. This lady was right in front of me. I didn't want her to like freak out on me and then like cause a scene just like your two ladies yeah. did. So it was just really funny. I just had to really hold it back. And and it's such an awkward time, too, like where if you sneeze in public. It feels illegal. Yes. It's yeah. like such like a you have to like let it be known. Like it's it's not a, it's not a Corona cough. Mm -hmm. It's not a Corona sneeze. Like yeah. people like just give you that like even if it's just like a little. <laughs> you're you're a disgusting man. Look, you're a disgu disgusting man. You know, and when you have like a cough attack and like, you know, people around you are tired of it and you're, you start to do like the. <laughs> holding it in <laughs> or you do the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's almost worse yeah. you sound like you're struggling <laughs> I always expect like in public for them to be like that scene in uh, Monsters Inc we got a 2319 yeah. we got a 2319 oh, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> in the yellow suits yeah that was your lady that movie that movie is pretty much happening right now some people are thinking that Monsters Inc was ahead of its time well yeah it was incredible but that it's basically an ode to like Pizza Gate and like Adrenochrome. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was connected to that. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what? That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know what Adrenochrome is, uh, but basically it's this theory that a lot of elite, high 
politicians, very wealthy people, and uh, just people of power are drinking the blood of a child that has been basically scared to death. Um, and they'll harvest their blood while the adrenaline is pumping through them, like when they're like terrified. What? Um, so they'll drink it, and basically, like it's the fountain of youth. Did you see that clip? Um, I just saw this clip on TikTok, but it was a clip of um, Steve. Oh, what's it? What's the guy's name? Family Feud. Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Steve Harvey. There was a clip of a lady um, uh, showing a product, and she was like, "It's made out of." Uh, human blood, like it was a word that right. was. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't be in products. It was like, uh -huh. it was like, I forgot what the. I wish I could have it up so I know exactly. I can tell you exactly what I heard, but he. It was a word where she brought up and he was just like, made out of what? Like it made him like question it. Yeah. And she, she's like, this is Oprah's favorite product. Um, it, uh, it makes. It, it's a product that keeps her uh youthful. <laughs> blah blah blah. And I remember she like put it all over his hand, and then she. And then she said it was made out of foreskin. It was like, right, it's yeah, made yeah. out of foreskin. And he's like, it's made out of what? And you put that shit all over my hand. Like, I remember it was like a, like, it was just a really weird. Dude, there's a lot of weird stuff coming out. Like there was a, an interview on the Ellen show with Sandra Bullock. And they were like talking about something. And she was like, yeah, I have this. She got like stuff on her face, whatever, to like stay looking young. And they were like, w w what is it? And she like hesitated for a second and made it seem like she was making a joke. She was like, it's, uh, it's, it's foreskin. Like making it seem like it was something like completely unbelievable. Can we play the clip actually? Mm -hmm. Um, and then, and we're cutting our foreskin off. Like when they give birth to us, why are we cutting off something that's going to keep us youthful? Cause they're making goddamn money off of our, it's a scam. Our pee pee skin. I fucking knew it. I, I've been known since I was a baby. I knew that shit. Like, why are they cutting it off so early? Yeah. Let me let me have the choice to it's cut for, it off I it's want. It's for cleanliness. It, yeah, right. They're selling our freaking foreskin. This has become a conspiracy podcast. So this is the clip with uh, Sandra Bullock. Through microneedling, um, it's like a little roller with these, some of you, I, mean, I think many of you know it, and it pushes through the skin and ruptures the collagen and then boosts it. You look like a burn victim for a day, but then it's, but then it pushes the What are you pushing into the skin, Sarah? Sarah. Sandra? Sarah? Said <laughs> Carrie, <laughs> what are you pushing into the skin? Well, you push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? Watch it is it. an extraction from a um, a a, um, a piece of skin uh, that came from a young person um, far, far away, and they somehow figured out how to extract. It's foreskin from a Korean baby. I it's like it's. Ellen you can't. I feel like as she's up. as she's talking about it, she, you could tell she's she's what like do doesn't in, want to but say. But Ellen it. also is like pushing out. Of it. She's like, like what tell you, us what it tell what us what ingest? it is. Yeah. Say say what I, it but is. But I, I also feel like Ellen is like she, like she she obviously knows what it is. I feel yep, like this she is my opinion. Yeah. And she's just this is just like a game to her. It's like come yeah, on, right. Sandra, say yeah, it. It's like we do we do that we do that to each other all the time. Every time like you're talking about something and I know what it is and you're like go come on, he say it. I feel like they're doing that. It's it's weird. It's weird, but does it work? I don't know. In the gay community, we have a different meaning of penis facial. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Kenny's skin is flawless. Look at him go, oh. <laughs> but, like, when you think about, like, the fucked up shit that's going on, it's not seeming too far off. But basically, people were saying that Monsters, Inc. is kind of, like, uh, another way of showcasing that. So they would harvest the screams of a scared child and that's what gives the the life the energy it's crazy because why like, does well, everything have to have a hidden meeting why can't we just be entertained in that scene? have you seen the disney movie meetings with yes, the penises that's in the what castle I'm yeah. everything's gotta be something bunch of perverts trying to put penises grow in up grow up <laughs> i feel like it's like it's like adults like just uh, throwing jokes out there like oh haha look at what yeah. we can do and we can get away with it's like i it's have weird. the uh the original uh little mermaid vhs where there's a penis on the uh do the, you really yeah. yeah i have it at home it's got to be worth something kenny noticed it the first time he watched it yeah <laughs> like i'm gay now <laughs> thanks little mermaid <laughs> and that's why ariel is my favorite princess <laughs> a quick word from our sponsors today's episode is brought to you by honey honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart honey supports over thirty thousand stores online they range from sites that have tech gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery heath and i have been buying a ton of furniture for season two 
and we use Honey at checkout. We've saved over like five hundred dollars. It's insane. Even our gaming setup, we saved a lot of money. Yeah, it's so easy to use. All you got to do is download it, and literally, you don't even have to think about it. So when you're just shopping, it automatically pops up, and you just apply it, and then you save money. It doesn't make any sense uh, it, why you shouldn't have it. When you check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Honey has found it's over seventeen million members, over two billion dollars in savings. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings and it's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting our podcast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. That's joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Save that money. Mm. It's easy. Our next sponsor is brought to you by the HBO Max original series, Raised by Wolves. From the mind of legendary filmmaker Ridley Scott, the visionary director of Alien and Blade Runner, comes his next sci-fi masterpiece, Raised by Wolves. The epic new series explores questions of humanity and ideology against the backdrop of a strange and perilous new world. After Earth has been virtually destroyed by a holy war, two androids are tasked with raising children on a mysterious uninhabited planet. As the burgeoning colony of humans threatens to be torn apart by religious differences, the androids learn that trying to control the beliefs of humans is a treacherous and difficult task. It is a sci-fi story of family, human emotion, and the hope of building something new. Sounds like something that's going on right now, actually. <laughs> Tune into the premiere of Raised by Wolves this Thursday, September 3rd, streaming only on HBO Max. And to learn more about Raised by Wolves, subscribe now to the official Raised by Wolves companion podcast hosted by Holly Frey starting on September 3rd, taking fans behind the scenes of Ridley's latest sci-fi story and available on iHeart, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So guys, make sure to tune in with Zane and I. We're going to be watching it as well. It sounds pretty good, yeah. and we're all excited to see it. So guys, if you want to check it out, you can go to uh, hbomax.com slash raisedbywolves. Premieres this Thursday, September 3rd on HBO Max. While I was in Florida, I actually... Um, talk to my uncle that, that was in Lebanon in mm. Beirut. Oh, oh yeah. And um, where is he still over there? Did, or he's, did he fly he's still in? he's still over there. Like uh, he said, it's fine. You know, the, the, they'll they'll get by it. Um, obviously, everybody's houses is still like all the windows are still shattered. Right. They can't like fix everybody's houses. Right, it's of course. Take forever. Like imagine that happened here. It would take so fucking long Years. for the, for Years. just for everybody's houses to be completely fixed and done to like move on like mm -hmm. it, it's, it's just crazy so yeah it's gonna take it's gonna take a little bit do you bit, know but, how far he was from the blast um no i didn't ask we're actually honestly we're just catching up because we haven't right. talked in years we like i haven't i haven't talked to my uncles in probably like six years whoa so so we all just caught up i saw my cousins they're like the, uh so they're like just old they're so much older now it's crazy so weird when you see like kids grow up yeah and they're like my cousins they're my blood cousins but like you know, just some cousins you just don't keep up with. You just don't like, but it's just crazy. And, Is that um, like the part of your family that you would see though when you went to visit Lebanon yeah. when you were a kid? Yeah, those are the people that we would see when I when I lived there too. When I lived there, I lived there for like a year, a year and a half. I went to school there. I I was I was pretty much a citizen there. It, it was it was Did crazy. You have citizenship? No, no, not like actual citizenship. But oh, I just okay. felt like I like I was just I belonged did you, there. Did because you feel like like is it, was it a weird feeling like going there and be like? this feels like home more than the U S or was it just kind of like you felt? No, no. I mean, I was young. I was young when I was living there. I was, I was, I think I was in like kindergarten or first grade uh -huh. when I was there. Cause I went to school there too. The school system is crazy out there. Like you saw the tank with all the kids like around it. Yeah. It kind of like looked like that. Oh, wow. that's how you guys got to school. That was the bus. And no, it was, <laughs> it was not the tank part, but just like just a lot of dirt everywhere and a lot of kids running around with like no shoes on. Like it was just very like interesting. Yeah, the look of the schools. It's very um everything. All the buildings just have like this like. like like Arab architecture, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like they, every school just looks like a mosque. They don't take the the cheap, easy route. They like, yeah. act but no, it's not like, it's not as beautiful as a mosque. A, a mosque, they really put time into it. They try okay. to do their best to make it look beautiful. But like the, the schools is just like the architecture is just a much different design. All the girls like are in scarves. Mm -hmm. And I think actually half of them, because a lot of them were probably not even, um, because uh, for girls in the um, Muslim culture or Middle Eastern culture, if they do wear scarves, you once you hit, once you have your period, then you start wearing a scarf. Uh, so if you uh, haven't hit your period yet, you I don't know that you don't have to wear a scarf yet. That's so no one was probably wearing it when, yeah. like, in people your age, exactly, like yeah. older kids at the school or something would wear it. Exactly. I don't know if th th that rule is still the same or it's changed, but I just that's what I was been told or been taught within our family. 
but um i know i don't know how, if it's still like that uh in school but they used to just hit kids uh, no no, no. They, they we don't to, use corporal punishment they used to beat us in class but the Did parents your dad go to catholic school yeah because catholic was... school was like that too with the ruler uh-huh. oh they would hit him in catholic school yeah. too yeah my dad got kicked out because <laughs> the the nun went to like hit him <laughs> and like he like grabbed her arm that so we were having hit? none of this <laughs> any good uh, but yeah so i guess she like went to like hit him again like she, like they would hit like hard i mm-hmm. guess all the time and like he like grabbed her arm damn now that i'm thinking about it there is movies i've seen where the nun have a, will have a ruler oh, they do the back the of your hands like they make you put your hands on your on the yeah. desk and- yeah i've seen that all i can think of is american horror story asylum <laughs> sister jude oh yeah <laughs> like that doesn't seem right to me well, that's just how it was. Like, yeah, it's just, and, it was and, a different time. And parents parents allowed it too. Like they were fine yeah. with the teachers hitting. If anybody's going to hit my kid, it's going to be me. Exactly. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know what I mean though? I don't know. I, I feel, I, but I feel like even now, like it's really like it, it's really looked down upon. Like when you when someone sees a parent hitting their kid. Right. It, like, yeah, no. Yeah. Times it's like, change. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, remember, how, remember how I told you guys that I used to, um, I used to, forge people's signatures mm-hmm. on detentions in middle school like in florida my dad told me that i did that in lebanon too when i was when i was he was uh, a bad little kindergartner i so I, I apparently i always had good handwriting i'd always forge signatures I, I i think i remember forging my own like my own stuff my, for my own work but he said i would do it for other people too that's that, how you made like a little side hustle i, was yeah, gonna say, I wasn't paying i wasn't charging though i was doing it for free oh uh, i was gonna say he's wow. a little entrepreneur yeah we'd always go to this little a spot called Zefta where there would be a little like a, a, a dukene, which is a which store in Arabic. There's a little store. This old, little old lady would run it, and she would have like all the chocolate and candy in the world. And we'd always go there, and there would be this like little area where we'd play soccer, but it's all concrete, and like within the concrete walls are houses. It's That's the craziest so thing. It's like. But going from that to America and back was just, it was a completely different fucking world. Traveling out of the United States is such a culture shock, like no matter yeah. where you go. Yeah. I used to speak like fluent Arabic too. I was going to ask, that's like, so what were cool. they, was everyone speaking like a different language when you were in school? Yeah, we all spoke Arabic. And now you've cut, you've probably, I don't know a, 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 a lick of Arabic. Wow. It's crazy. I used to, my dad told me like as a baby, I'd scream to everybody like in Arabic and to, it, to me that's crazy because <laughs> like, I, like yeah. I just don't know it now. There's times where like my dad would be talking in Arabic and like there's a few words I'll maybe understand, but like, mm-hmm. no, like now I it's just like completely left my, left my brain. But like there is this road trip that we uh, took to Syria and I remember specifically us all packed up in this tiny car and the AC was just broken in like the desert heat out in the Middle East on our way to Syria and just going to all these things. And we were in our like mosque, like uh, our sharwa yeah, yeah. kameez and just going to these different like little restaurants. They don't, like to me, those are like not even restaurants. They're like hole in the wall. Like they everything. don't have like a Chili's or Applebee's. Yeah, no, it's nothing like that. It's so That's interesting. True. You were outside of Beirut though, but would you go often to Beirut? Oh, all the time. Yeah, we ha- half our family lived there. Like, cause it was like the city, like you, it was like going to downtown. Okay. It, it was like the tall buildings, all the, all the, all the stores right. you'd go, like you'd go shopping over there. It was like, a, like Beirut was like a really, is it like a really nice city? And our uncle, like, all, like going to our uh, family's houses, they had like nice apartments, nice houses. Do you want to go back? I like, do. You, I do like, really, I do really want to go back there. We were going to go to Lebanon this year and I checked the calendar and I had, ba- I had Lebanon on the days we uh, that the that the explosion happened, you like you were supposed to be there. We were supposed to be there when the explosion happened. Really, which is crazy. Yeah, like I have in my calendar. I'll Damn. show you. It's like it's like that. We were like the the time the bomb happened. That's when we were in Lebanon. Oh man, I don't know if we would be in Beirut or not because I feel like we would probably stay at the at our right, house in Marwania. But, but I feel like anywhere around but, there yeah. would be I, like I for some reason I feel like I'd probably I, I feel like we would have stayed there. Yeah. longer just to like help out my uncle and all that i just yeah. feel like we would have just been there for an extra like couple weeks what kept you if, from going like why didn't you the pandemic just oh, right. everything yeah so it's like the, all the restrictions are obviously we couldn't go but so the last time you went was when you were a kid yeah wow you guys want to go to lebanon yeah it would be an ex- be it cool. would be one hell of an experience for you guys so to go there cool. it'd be crazy for you guys to go out there it'd be exciting i know matt would love to go like yeah. matt like i because when matt uh, found out i was going this was like months before i told him i was going and he really wanted to go he was like dude to take me with you i really want to. i was like fuck okay let's do it imagine matt in lebanon look at that 
Can wow. you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, enough about me. <laughs> it's been 45 minutes. Enough right. about me. Um, Pete, this is your podcast too. What's How was your on, week? Baby? Um, what happened? It was my Bubba's birthday. Mm-hmm. That's me. Happy birthday, Bubba. <laughs> Hot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a nice little birthday with her. Yes. How old are you now? 26. 26. Uh, oh, I look 17. 26. Mm-hmm. We made food and we watched a movie. You just Where wanted- did you watch a movie? Well... <laughs> One of my birthday gifts was a projector for outside. So Heath got me an inflatable screen and then we got a projector. So we sat in the hot tub with some tubes, some snacks, some drinks, and we watched The Office. Damn. Did it feel like you're in a, obviously not a drive-in theater, but did it yes, have that yes, vibe of yes. a drive-in theater? Yeah. That's so, so sick. It's, I don't know why. Like I've just been obsessed with like the thought of like having a projector outside like yeah. in the backyard she's wanted it for three years it's all she <laughs> talked about three years oh you, you been, waited even... this long <laughs> to get it for her you it's gotta build cool. some stuff up my sister bought this little it, it's like a little cheap projector it's really tiny but it's it's really high quality it's really good so she'll sit in the hot tub and project it onto like the hot tub lid because yeah. that's like her little screen and i was like that looks she sits in the hot tub she walk they play quiplash on it Oh, they play that's... games on it. Yeah. Oh, God. Imagine playing Halo on that shit. That would oh. be sick. Heath and I want to go on Zillow on it and just, just hey, like, look at this house. Look around. Uh, chat roulette. That's... You go on chat roulette. <laughs> <laughs> they see the whole backyard. They're like, oh, my God. What a shot. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny. really nice. So thank you. You're that's awesome. I love it. Dude, yeah. That's a good birthday gift. I know Heath was like kind of like he was trying to think of a birthday gift. We were talking about how bad we were our birthday gifts. I know Heath was waiting until like last minute. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything. <laughs> It was no, it is. It's stressful trying to find a birthday gift for someone that you care. I like know. it's, it's always so hard. Like I, for the past four years, I, I still haven't gotten like a birthday gift for any of my family because I just don't know what to fucking get them. It's so difficult. I have like a list of stuff. <laughs> like there'll be times where she'll say something and I'll just like put it down. Like I have a That's note what I do, of like yeah. little things that I could get her. Like even if somebody brings it up for a split second, like if my, if my parents say something for a split second, I'll write it down. Giving is cool though. Cause like, I don't know. It feels good. Yeah, it's fun, right? We should white elephant on this the white elephant game on this podcast. That'd be fun. Yeah, for Christmas maybe. Some That'd gag gifts. That would yeah. Be <laughs> I'm the same way with cards though. Like I'm like, am I really gonna spend like six dollars on a card like with someone else's yeah. words? You Just, better. I will. <laughs> it's it's like a lot of people do like that though. It's like the thought. It's like my the, family all is obs- they're obsessed with cards. I'm yeah, the only so one that's like mine. I don't. I, I, I don't, mean, I, don't really I, I open that mom, shit upside down and make sure anything falling out of there. And then that too. every little thing, my mom's like, "Did you send them a card? Did you send them a thank you card? Send them this card. Send them like that's for just, everything." That's why Italian, I do. Italian people are like that. Though. I know. But other than the birthday, I don't think anything else really happened. Do you have a good week, Kenny? Oh. Oh, just kidding. I Fuck saw Kenny. somebody Fuck you, Kenny. <laughs> that really surprised me. What? I was outside of my house and I was getting ready to get in my truck and this car was driving by really slowly. And like, I don't know, like I just like looked over and the passenger was looking dead at me and I, I was like looking back. Yeah. And I was just like, holy shit. It was Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Miley Cyrus? She was right outside of your house. Drove right On by. On our property. Did you, well, did you invite her in? <laughs> No, no. For some crockets and bis and, and tea. <laughs> crockets. <laughs> for some crockets and tea. Wait, is she British? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't invite Miley Cyrus in for Well he she's she's sing, <laughs> she's single now. She's not with Hemsworth anymore. You shouldn't invite her to her Wait, she's with Cody Simpson. She Come was on. with Cody no, Simpson and they broke, broke up, up too. Maybe that's why she was eyeing me so hard. She was looking for Exactly. Right. She was like, what is this fucking weirdo doing? Ah, <laughs> she fucking not, ah, I don't fucking care who you are. You FaceTimed me like while I was in the bathroom and you're like, you're not going to believe who I just saw. I'm like, where are you? You're like, I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's a big stan. <sighs> Good for you, Heath. You so deserve that. You need a you little know, bit of excitement in your No, life. I deserve that. I'm a fan. <laughs> some, I, some people are a little bit luckier than others. The second that he said that, I was like, oh, tell her Midnight Sky slaps. He was like, huh? She slapped who? <laughs> <laughs> Midnight Sky actually sounds like a celebrity's like daughter. Oh, yeah. That's oh, my, yeah. Oh, my daughter, Midnight Sky. Midnight Sky. Sky. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. It is. <laughs> that's pretty beautiful, actually. I'm going to name my daughter Aurora Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> it's kind of cool. She dresses up as Princess Aurora for her Halloween. Aww. There's a Princess Aurora? Sleeping Beauty. Oh. Her name's Aurora? Yes. Oh my really? god. Really? What's Cinderella's name? Cinderella. 
You're like, so what was Beauty's name? Was it first name Beauty? <laughs> Hold on. That's not her name, though. It's not her name. Very good. W what What is her name? You know her name. Who? Beauty and the Beast? Ooh, hold on. I actually don't, I don't know. know. Is it no. Annabelle? Something, something Annabelle? Annabelle. No, that's a horror movie. Oh. <laughs> that's a doll. <laughs> Belle. Bella. It's Belle. It's Belle. It's, yeah, it's Belle. Good job. I got it. Thank you. You guys Harry, looked at me like I was who? stupid when I said Annabelle. I said Belle. He said Annabelle, and then he said Belle, and then he said Bella, and then you said Belle. I just wanted Heath to freak out a little bit, you know, <laughs> a little bit of Gosh, steam come out. Y'all all trying to get me worked up. <laughs> what's the beast supposed to be? A, a mammoth? Like, what's the? Is he a, a he bull? Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Oh, Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. Who is the be Who's the beast? <laughs> I think, oh, I think it's a, it, I think it's like a like a fictional creature because yeah, it's, it's a an beast. Okay. Yeah, that's why they just call him beast. He's kind of like a, a beauty man. and the woolly mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> beauty and the sloth. Beauty and the bear. <laughs> beauty and the bigfoot. <laughs> Do you guys believe in bigfoot? I don't like the videos no, but that I've it's seen. It's really fun to like watch the there, the hunters. It's I think so fun. I think there was like actual like hairy hairy people like that back then because you know how like oh so it, you the, think it's just a man. That's just Harry. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm into that. <laughs> because if, like think, there. think about like there. thousands of years ago, what did like cavemen look like? Just giant hairy men, you know. So okay. maybe there there had to there has to be still men like that out there. <laughs> when people say I was born in the wrong era, Ugh, I want to be born with all the hairy men. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, just find me a big old Sasquatch. I'm an old soul. I think there's something. I don't know if I like think we it's like an actual Bigfoot though. Loch Ness Monster. Ooh. Also, the uh, the Chupacabra. The Chupacabra, funny story. I was in Boy Scouts, and we had to come up with like a whatever, a team name, and we were the Chupacabras. I thought you said funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh, okay. Sorry. sorry. Got him. Oops, I just deleted all the topics I had for the paranormal episode. <laughs> Kenny, you would love this story, but um, I want to... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I'll, Zane I'll, says that, I get nervous. I want to talk about the time where um, it, I think it was like me, Todd, David, and Jason. I, we all did poppers. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, you would love this story. <laughs> we, we, he goes, he this goes, was like... <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> this was like... This was like probably, what, three years ago? I think three, four years ago. We, we were out... On, on Santa Mo in San not in Santa Monica on Santa Monica Boulevard and we walked by this sex store and we were like oh let's go in so we went into the sex store and I think the guy recognized David and so he was kind of like oh yeah you guys have fun here and I think he was just kind of showing us everything and he was uh -huh. like have you guys tried bombers and we're like what were you in, <laughs> were you in West Hollywood <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and and I remember David filmed all this, but we never put it up because it was just like it ended up just being. It, yeah, they ended up making out. <laughs> okay, maybe people that don't know what poppers are are probably. Oh yeah, explain what confused. poppers are. Yeah. So poppers are. I still don't know what they are, and we did them. <laughs> they, they come in this little uh, small cylindrical canister thing. Um, That's and after you, you take it, right? Th th you have to have the container <laughs> to take it. <laughs> If you don't have the drug, you can't take it. <laughs> so they're located inside the cylinder, and you usually inhale it, usually through one nostril. Um, <laughs> gas. Y'all doing doing what? <laughs> don't so act that's... like you never inhale something in your nostril. So it's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Clean it up, Coco. Clean it up. <laughs> it's just sort of considered like a like a gay thing because it's common in the gay community um, because it has other effects that happen when you take it. What sometimes. are the effects? Um, I, well, I could tell you how I felt. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. Explain. Explain what the effects are. Well, okay. So one of the effects is that it's like kind of a muscle relaxer. So um, for gay men, the uh, walls of their anus will uh, become more relaxed. So it will make having homosexual sex easier. <laughs> okay, so we ended up all taking poppers for uh, Dave, <laughs> for David's vlog, and I just remember all of us feeling like really giggly and weird, <laughs> but are, is that where you're supposed to feel like? Giggly and <laughs> giggly I'm and... I'm just nodding, I'm like, yep, yep, that's normal, uh-huh. I did not feel anything in my butt though, so, but it did, like, it did feel like somewhat high. Well, Relaxed. I... Relaxed. I've only relaxed. Maybe I've, it was my butthole that was relaxed. Maybe. 
It's like huffing paint, I'm guessing. I don't know. Wait, I've never is huffed it, paint. Is this a stupid question? Is it like a drug powder or a liquid or a pill? What is it? It's liquid. Oh, because there's like name. There's like, Hold on. Names like no, it's nose. not poppers. I remember it was oh, oh, so, a liquid sorry, chemical. Sorry. It's a liquid chemical sold in a small bottle. That's why you like the, put the liquid up your nose. No, you just you no, inhale you just the like, fumes that come from the liquid. Kind of oh. like a like a Sharpie. You Sharpie? Strange. Yeah. So it's like uh, like that's why they have they have names like like jungle juice and like whatever. Uh. So, yeah, you inhale it and it just I don't know. I, I've probably felt like what you were feeling, like just very kind of like spacey and like chilled yeah. and whatever but it just only lasted for like three seconds and i'm not trying to be the one in the club that's just like every five seconds like oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i said that's long enough for zay yeah Zay's like that's enough for me and then we and then we started playing with this like sex chair and then he just had a whole day and then i just remember that we all watched this footage and we were just like <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't post this. <laughs> and, and then and then that was it. Yeah, I think but your experience was far more gay than my experience. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went out in the town after uh, those poppers yeah. were Yeah. It was it was just a So I'm, really... I'm confused. like they're legal over the counter, like you can just Yeah. I, I would imagine they are. I wonder where the name comes from. Finger popping each other's ass. Yes, so oh, that. <laughs> I specifically remember the only other time I've ever heard of poppers where it was Coachella like four years ago. We we had um because we were doing car ca- uh, car camping and we know that there was this tent next to us. It was full of dudes. It was this giant tent. The full of dudes were like uh, all saving in. Right. And I, we remember that we just kept hearing like the word poppers. Like, oh, that's funny. And you didn't know what it was at the time? I didn't know what it was was at the time, and Scott or Todd told me what it was, but I wish I could remember what exactly was said in the tent, but like we know that it was just being used a lot. <laughs> right, right. Same poppers goes, were being if, used. If you guys are getting jalapeno poppers, I'll, I'll, I'll have an order <laughs> I'll too. I'll chip in. I'll chip in. Yeah, I got the grill if you want to throw it on my grill. If you want to throw it down on my grill, I'm open for biz. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're legal. They're legal in the U.S. They look like little five-hour energies. They it look exactly like that. Oh my god, it does. Yeah, so it's like legal in most countries. It looks like, but they just can't be advertised in a lot of them. Wasn't salvia legal, and then it became illegal after like people like studies I think you're were about spice. Spice, sorry. Spice was like the the weed that you could buy from the gas station. Sal- yeah, spice, what, not salvia. What my is bad. salvia? Salvia, it's. I thought it was. I thought salvia, salvia was, was like a hallucinogenic. Of, like yeah i messed up i meant i actually meant spice it's like the fake Uh, the fake weed they would have it in florida a lot spice spice was like an incense that they sold at gas stations that you would like burn in your house but people would smoke it and it would (gasps) give you the effects of being high but it was like it was like dangerous though oh my god i remember like most fucked up shit you oh it's synthetic that's why it's not like a it's not like from the earth or oh i love synthetic shit Mm. <laughs> Did you ever try spice? No, I was I was too scared because I've heard stories of people smoking that and like it not being good. I tried it one time. You did? How was it? It was. Why it do was I feel rough. like it's like smoking a lot of like cigars, like a ton of cigars, and then it was like um, or black and mild. Sorry, remember black and milds? Black and milds were great. I loved those things. Oh, those are fucking gross. Mariah's looking at me just like. No, I'm just trying to figure out whatever like. Is spice like? Is it green? Like that? that that's the question. Is it, it like a like plant? It, like what is it? It looks it like it, it's green. not a plant. It looks like it's made. It, so it says it's a, la- a range of laboratory made chemicals that mimic the effects of THC. Right. But like, just smoke it tasted weed. like a yeah. Like what? Well, weed was like really illegal in Florida, so that's and but spice wasn't illegal. Right. That's why we. That's oh my why. god! Thank goodness times have changed. It's like why? We, oh, we're not gonna. The the thing that's grown from the ground is illegal, so we're just gonna smoke this thing that was made in a laboratory. Right. This <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chemicals. Just don't do drugs. It's yeah. so stupid. Especially since we've done it. Not a good idea. So. Do as we say, not as we do. Exactly. Do you remember the um the hanging upside uh, the hanging upside down flowers? They're called the devil's thorn or something. The devil's I, trumpet. The devil's trumpet. I know people. W- people. I know people in Florida would eat that. Eat the flowers and that like hallucinate. You. No, no, you're not supposed to eat the whole flower. Apparently, you're supposed to eat like a little bit. Oh my god! People, Who comes up with yo? These people things? do the dumbest shit. Um, yeah. Licking toads. Who did that? True. The what? Licking what? toads. Licking toads. Like a yeah. frog? It gives yeah. you like a, a, a it's, it's like some insane high. Like it's a hallucinogen. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up. They have like this secretion, like these oils that come out of their like bumps on the back of toes. Oh my god. What about oh. boofing? Is that what it's called? What's boofing? Boofing. Look up boofing. What is boofing? I remember my friends would talk about doing it, and I was never down with B- it. You have no idea what boofing is, though. 
Oh, I know what boofing is. Oh, boofing is the act of inserting drugs into your anus for a much stronger trip, even though it is named like a synonym for farting. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, hold on. We'll do that, that with for alcohol. And with what's, coke, uh, too. What's the, um, what's the other thing where they would like put shit and piss in a bottle and then put a balloon over oh, it? Oh, yes. I remember that. Oh, I, I don't know why in my head that. I thought that was boofing. This is not my world. <laughs> <What was that? laughs> I am out of here. You remember seeing that shit? People would put pee and poop in a like a big two liter bottle, put a balloon over it, and then the gases would fill the balloon they, up. As they, what? Literally, they literally set it out in the heat yep. to make the the thing the things rise yeah oh my god i'm gonna have to clear my search history after <laughs> this one baby that's what my toilet smells like I'm get... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they want to get high <laughs> that sounds like boofing jenkum that's what it is what yep never heard that term jenkum was reported to be a popular street drug among zambian street children okay so this is an international trend <laughs> heath i think this would be a great video for us, it's a great first Zane and Heath video. Trying Jenkum for the first time? <laughs> if you can't beat him, Jenkum. Because normally you'd give like content like that to David, but like we're going right. to keep it for, for our channel. Drinking my own piss. Yeah. yeah, it literally says there was a moral panic in the United States after widespread <laughs> reports of Jenkum becoming a popular recreational drug in middle and high schools across the country. A moral panic. Got <laughs> moral panic. What did we do? That. <laughs> <laughs> like who's like, I want to get high so bad that I'll do whatever it takes and I can't find it anywhere else. I'm going to find something within my body. People who come up with like new ways, they should put that energy somewhere else where we need it. <laughs> be, a, right. be a chemist or what's all, all that energy. Shitting <laughs> they are chemists. Well, Mariah, they are, you said they are chemists. Yeah. It's just they're experimenting on themselves. <sighs> Do people still like smoke this shit or is this like, I, think I, so. I don't see why there's any reason to smoke the man-made laboratory stuff rather than the stuff that's grown. Once again, ground. times have changed. I feel like more people are just vaping. True. Yeah. I feel like it's yeah, just easier. I mean, it's, you get it anywhere. And you vaping, don't stink. Like weed. Remember when people would vape out of those giant fucking square, the, the big oh, box? Yeah. Yeah. The but mod. those tasted good though. Those, those giant ones. That the, was like dessert. The flavor was immaculate. The flavor. <laughs> the flavor was, it like, it, the, remember like, have you tasted like the waffle and syrup one? The shit uh -huh. tasted like it was a breakfast. Like you didn't uh, have what to was eat. The, the, the good one, unicorn's milk. Yeah, that one, it tasted like marshmallows. Oh. oh my god! Speaking of that, I saw. Oh, we gotta try this. This guy. Oh, we gotta try this. They took a bowl of Lucky Charms, put milk in it. Yeah. Ate the the bowl, and then they had just that Lucky Charms milk, and then they poured that into cold brew, and used that. Oh, oh that we can get by. Oh wow! How it looked amazing. And that's on our coffee flavor, right? And then down. you should put whipped cream and put the marshmallows, sprinkle marshmallows on top. Fuck, so Mariah. I don't know. Baba. <laughs> Baba. Oh. Hot, hot stuff. Shit. All right. <laughs> She's a barista for our storefront. Very good. I have experience. <laughs> she <laughs> wasn't sure. The word. I love that. I can see it. I can see it too. Hey, I'm Mariah Amato. I'll be your Bubarista today. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny. He's good. I'm on so much Jankum right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kenny, can you pass me the popper? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so stupid. I feel like I'm high talking about being high. I know. Do you think doing alcohol is cool? It is oh. fucking cool, okay? I was, I was quoting Michael Scott. Oh. <laughs> Zane answered. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Loser. Before we continue to the rest of the episode, we'd like to thank AT&T 5G and Samsung for sponsoring today's podcast. Rooster Teeth is joining forces with Samsung and AT&T 5G to kick things off for their upcoming RTX at-home virtual event. They're creating a Ruby outdoor mural that you can add art to from home using the Mark Augmented Reality app. Just download the Mark app and start creating your Ruby art starting on September 5th through September 7th. Each night, fans' designs will be projected on the mural wall, and you can see yours come to life on social. If you're on the AT&T 5G network at home, you can access Plus Mode through the Mark app, so you will get the highest res video and crystal clear images to explore on the app. Check out the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G powered by AT&T and 5G. AT&T 5G requires compatible plan and coverage not in all areas. Here are just some of the new features you can try out on this device. Cloud gaming will be available with the power of 5G. Try out cloud gaming with high-performance experience 
experiences brought to you via the newest Samsung devices powered by AT&T 5G. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G also has a 120 hertz adaptive display that automatically adjusts the refresh rate according to the content you're viewing. It also has an intelligent battery that optimizes for your gameplay. Between 5G support, Wi-Fi optimization, and advanced processor, you get a smooth gaming experience with virtually no lag. Check out the S Pen and Samsung Galaxy Notes to create your own works of art. So head over to att.com slash Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G to learn how you can get the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 5G for free or the Galaxy Note 25G Ultra for $299.99 for a limited time. Oh, speaking of Michael Scott, um, I wanted to talk about this. Do you guys think um, The Office was the greatest show of all time? The yes. Office, yes, The Office is the <laughs> fucking greatest show of all time. It's crazy to think about shows that existed back then that would never work today. Yeah, the like, Office. that would be completely just inappropriate yes. or just it just be or just be canceled like immediately canceled it's crazy mm-hmm. there's a couple shows i want to talk about there's one show do you guys remember the show called matt was t- telling me about this the other night a uh, superstar usa um no. that sounds familiar okay so it was basically well, it was basically like an american idol type show yes but the whole show was based around bad singers yeah but they didn't tell these people that they were that they were on a show Oh, for who's the worst singer? It was like the di- it was dinner for schmucks, but in the singing world. Right, right. They will they will have the whole audience, <laughs> and these people would be singing, but they don't know they're on a show. I mean, it was funny, but it was so All fucked right. up. So did, it, wait, it literally did the, looks like an SNL. Did the skit. judges act like it was good? I don't. I don't. Yeah, understand. yeah. No, they'll be like, oh my god, that that your voice is absolutely amazing. Like they would they would just feed them these like. That's really funny though. It was really funny, funny but like but it today would. It won it and dude, that would no be way. so bad yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> aired that shit on TV. Could you imagine? Jamie, you said your heart will go on, but as for going on to the next round... We agree! Will. Yes, <laughs> we love you. We agree, we love you. <laughs> like, I watch scenes from The Office, and, like, it, say it was playing today's day and age. Absolutely oh, yeah. not. I feel like it's how you deliver it, too. If it's, like, yeah. if you're yeah. saying a joke and it's not funny, like... Then it's yeah, it's a little fucked up. Like right. it, it wasn't tasteful. Like like they're very tasteful. It, it's just a joke in the end. You know, right. the end of the day is yeah. just a fucking joke. I love hearing fucking Arab jokes and yeah. bomb jokes. Yeah, it's the funniest thing to me because guess what? Because it's not true. It's just not true. Right. But it's like it's just making it's, fun of a stereotype. And it's right. like I right. love hearing those jokes. Well, it that's makes like it, me with Italian. Like I run with that shit. It's so funny yeah. when it's so over exaggerated. Like yeah. that's so funny to and me. I, and I feel like you guys almost like I feel like just in your characters, you're already, like you already know you're making like you just make fun of yourself right. all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's fun. It's all in good fun. Like that's yeah. how you survive. And especially just laugh. When it's if the show is singling out like one like community it would be one thing yeah but they shows, hit everybody everyone and they hit them equally as hard and so i feel like it's almost justifiable if you think about like the perspective like are they really trying to like harm this community or do yeah. them dirty it's like no they're just trying to make it funny if it's funny i don't i love funny gay jokes if it's a bad gay joke i'm like oh that's a groaner but like I don't get offended by it. Marlon Wayans said something like about the scary movies. Yeah. Um, he had an interview <laughs> recently and he said that there's a lot of gay humor that like if he presented a script with that in it today, he's like, I know it wouldn't get greenlit. It, yeah. The exact same script. He goes, it would not make it past like the first round. Yeah. He goes, but it doesn't mean it's not funny. A show that reminds me of that is Simple Life. I just think that I thought that show was the, was the funniest oh fucking show. Yeah, I want to rewatch Life that. So I've seen good. I've seen a couple episodes because um Ella, my, my best friend Ella from back home she loved that show so that i saw a couple episodes uh-huh. of there but it was it, it was it's, it's paris and nicole <laughs> it's paris Hilton and nicole richie and the show is basically them going to different like cities it's like, like farm uh, stuff right like it's they, they would try yeah, but the way they treat other the other people's yeah. way of living like they were just entitled brats and it was so funny they were yeah. they were being dumb on purpose they're like the reason social media is like social media oh like, yeah they, they were the, the first start. influencers yeah. yeah like they know their characters they know where to lean into their like bitchiness and whatever yeah. and it it almost just makes it okay it's it's like it's always sunny Everyone in that show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, is a terrible yeah. person. So no one's expecting them to be a virtuous, like, generous, good yeah. person. You know that they're awful. So everything that they say, if it's awful, it's just it fits. It, yeah, it, it fits with their character. It is crazy because, like, we watched a couple episodes the other night, and a lot of the shit that they were saying were very, like, oh, man, this would never yeah. be allowed today. But, like, it's so weird for a TV network or whatever to cut jokes out from a scene from 
a, a someone like a, like an awful character saying something awful. It like to me, it's like that's not a real person. That's that's an actual it, they're acting, awful. Right, yeah, I it's agree. like an awful person saying something Especially awful. Especially if it's, it's like, like showing like this is what is awful. Exactly, and we're we're all laughing at like. If anything, it's 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 showing us how awful somebody can be, yeah. and like don't be around people like that. Right. Like, I don't know. It's like I feel like they shouldn't cut things out of shows if it's an older show. I feel like they should just put a disclaimer in the beginning. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like that would be a way of kind of evolving with the times. I mean, I don't think trigger warnings were a thing. It's not, like right, years ago. put a trigger warning. Uh, there's one more thing. I want, uh, there's another thing I want to talk about. Um, have you guys heard about the whole Bella Thorne? And the OnlyFans. Okay, I saw there's like a little bit of scandal. I don't think that's an accurate word. I think sc- I think scandal just means that there's a drama. Like what like, is I mean, I think I mean scandal? I think it's scandalous what she did because she's a Disney star that created an OnlyFans. But the, you're talking about like the fact that she made a million dollars in one <gasps> day. Yeah. Right? So okay, so th- th- oh! this is and if Kenny, can you Crazy. if you can fact check this, I I watched a bunch of TikToks and tweets about it, but I have not looked I saw up people are an really article. Mad at her. That's all I know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Bella Thorne, she made a she made an OnlyFans account, which is uh-huh. completely okay. Anybody can make one. You know, whatever. But apparently, on her OnlyFans, she promoted it as if she was completely nude. So you uh you bought this. I it was like a a. You it bought, was, it was like a picture. It was a picture for two hundred dollars that you can buy. Holy and shit. she said it was a nude, which is crazy. A Bella Thorne, Disney Channel actress. She has an OnlyFans and she posted a nude. So, at, uh-huh. you know, a bunch of people bought the picture. But when they bought the picture, the picture was a, a picture of her in lingerie. It says Thorne joined OnlyFans and set her price at twenty dollars a month for a subscription to her feed. Oh, is that it? So there was no. I'm pretty there sure was, that's it. Oh, there was no two hundred dollar thing. Okay. It says, but I heard she charged two hundred dollars for a single nude photo. There are tweets circulating right now that alleged Thorne was selling a pay per view nude for two hundred dollars. Uh, a pay-per-view message is exactly what it sounds like content that you share via message that your fans pay to view hmm. creators set their price and can choose to send them to individual followers or to all of their followers there's a screenshot of what appears to be a chat between an OnlyFans user and Thorne who confirms to the user the photo is naked so it's just a false advertising yeah that was the only screenshot that I saw that were it showed that Bella Thorne said that she was naked, but that was the only proof. So everybody started demanding their money back. So so um, OnlyFans implemented new rules for everybody on OnlyFans, where they set all these restrictions for. Well, oh. now you can't get paid weekly. Now it's monthly. Yep. It says, and the most you can the most you can pay for a uh, for a pay per view type of thing is a hundred dollars. So the most you can tip is a hundred dollars. So there's all gotcha. these all these new rules came out because of this one situation, which hurts a lot of. Yeah, people that are on OnlyFans that are making all their money on OnlyFans and like this doing hurts. What they're actually saying exactly because you know they have bills to pay. This hurts them a lot, and they were really pissed that she kind of ruined it for everybody. Yeah, thirty day payout, hundred dollar yeah. max tip, fifty dollar max post price. That all changed because of Bella Thorne. That's pretty crazy. So that's why a lot of people that are she shook it up, huh? <laughs> she's shaking up the narrative. <laughs> but she specifically said this is a nude photo. Just by that that one screenshot. That's why it could be like fake but like Ugh, i don't know i just don't even know like wh- what to believe anymore i feel like everything is just like you can fake anything also, i mean no she, i'm not doing n- right nudity. she tweeted that she's not doing nudity i think this may have been after the backlash that she was getting and here we are just latching onto some shit that we might have seen on the internet just fucking we'll never know we'll never know are we gossiping just <laughs> that's why i don't get like tied up in this stuff i'm just like it's, it's literally none of my business Live i mean it's, it was all over the internet there's a lot of shit that's all over the internet that fucking is lies i don't know yeah i don't have a strong opinion on it either way i can see why other people would have a strong opinion on it if you're an only fans content creator i understand why you would be up in arms yeah. about it right yeah. You know, yeah. I, you know, I'm all for Bella if Thorne wanting world, to, yeah. you know, express herself how she wants. I don't know her motives. I can't weigh in on them. Oh. On a lighter note, Mariah and I have a nice little story to share. Is it going to be a long our, one? Our little friend that we met the other day. Oh, yeah. Jerry. We uh, Jerry. walked to this coffee spot down the street. And um, every once in a while, we'll see this guy sitting there. And he's a, a homeless gentleman. But he... You could tell he really tries his best to look as clean as possible. Like he like parts his hair, will brush it back and like look really nice. Like he tries to wear like nice clothes. And he's um, always cooking for him. He has a like a portable stove with him yeah. and a pan and he always has like chicken going. Like he 
cooks for himself. There's like a little okay. table like yeah. off the street. Just off seems the like a street. cool guy. And he'll just like sit there and like cook food and like we've seen him like pouring like oil into the pan and like cooking like real meals. I was like, that's really awesome. To I thought see, he was like, a backpacker at first. Right. And we just kept mm. seeing Are you him sure it wasn't over. a backpacker? Well, Is he there like every day? He's there pretty often. He's there early in the morning. Yeah. Like 6, 7 a.m. and then disappears and that's it. Oh, you're up But already? doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's crazy. And y'all have that's seen him? That's the craziest part of the story. <laughs> yeah. Like we'll see him, but he never makes eye contact with anybody. He never talks to anybody. He's just a quiet, like nice looking guy. Like just. Yeah. Yeah. So one day we pass by him. And I was like, we should make like a little goodie pack for him and like just, you know, yeah. see if he wants it. Um, so we've been waiting and waiting and waiting, trying to see him. And like, he, we just never saw him again. We're like, oh, damn it. He must have like left. Um, but the other day we were walking by and he was sitting out at the table making his food when we were walking by to come back home. We're like, oh, shit, he's there. So we ran back to grab the bag of stuff that we had like put together for him. And then we circled back around and we're going to like walk by him again. I called my mom right away because I don't know. Sometimes if you give people something, they'll get offended, which like you can't control the way people react. Yeah. You just just the thought is like really all that counts. So my mom does this all the time. Like she will go up to homeless people and she'll be like, do you want to like come to my house and shower and relax? Like she'll invite them in. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah. She's like wild. She, but do, anyway. she does that like often. Well, she'll like, she'll like talk to them. Like she's just like so interested and she just likes helping people. Her and Jeff both have that in common. <laughs> so I called my mom. I was like, how do we approach him? Like, what do we say? Because he seems like he's doing well. He never begs for anything. He doesn't talk to people like just like, looks like a backpacker yeah and she was like you can't control the way people react like just um be like hey like we see her all the time like we just want to have a conversation we got you some stuff that you think you could use blah 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 whatever so heath and i are walking down and i was like you say something first he goes no you say something first and we're freaking out like who's gonna say the first sentence and he the guy ends up saying the first sentence which is weird because he doesn't talk like he we've seen him maybe like seven or eight times and he doesn't talk to anybody. So for him to say the first word, I was like, that was meant to be. And he was like, hey, I just saw you guys. Just just seemed like like a, a friend, like right away. Yeah. right? Yeah. Like we went up to him and we were like, um, oh, yeah, like we see you here all the time. Like there's a couple things in this bag that like we gave him like a pot and like cooking stuff and deo like travel size stuff like deodorant right. and gel and stuff like, like things that like he could use. That's a crossword awesome. puzzle. Right. Mm -hmm. And um. He was just genuinely so appreciative. Like he was like, oh, he was like, thank you so much. Like you can tell he needs it, but would never ask for it. Yeah. yeah he, he wasn't like a, a beggar or anything. He just kept to himself. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he was very, very grateful. Yeah. As soon as we opened up to him, he he like got up out of his chair. You could tell like, he just hasn't talked to anybody. Yeah. And he just like let it all out. Very smart guy. Knows what's going on in the world. Like very intelligent. And he's 11 years sober and three years homeless, he said. Yeah. Since his hair is like parted and it's always gelled yeah. down and he's always like trying to look his best. Heath had a theory that like he I thought he could was be, could have been in the military. First. Yeah. Huh. You know how like a lot of them become homeless because of PTSD and they just don't know how to like survive in this in the real world. Like, yeah. It could have been something like that. But he, you could tell he's like very like well-mannered, clean yeah, cut. Yeah, really like, well-mannered. Well, that was really sweet of you guys that you brought him a little goodie bag. Like have you seen him since? Not we since. haven't. Mm -hmm. <gasps> he maybe, used he, us. He got, he got what he needed, <laughs> we baby. Doomed. Out. Right. Um, but but yeah, it was, it was crazy because he was just like so in tune with what, what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Like just telling us his thoughts about like the does virus. He, does he watch TikToks? I don't know. <laughs> he's listening to the podcast right now. He's like, that's, 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 me. that's what I was asking you guys. I'm like, how does he get all his information? I wonder. Like, I wonder if he I just know. like reads the paper. I don't know. He just like gets them from newsstands or something. Yeah. Like, I've seen homeless people with phones. And oh they'll yeah. Be, and they'll be using it, and I'll and, and, and I'll be like, where the fuck? I know. I don't like, think they charge. Like he said, baby, I'm homeless. I'm not phoneless. But you need service. And like, how do you get billed for your service? Right. And all, like, you know what I mean? You need like. I know. That's what I always say. Data to sure. I definitely stuff. don't think this guy had a phone because. He knew a lot like it could be the newspaper. It could be word of mouth because he said he kept bringing up like his friends. Oh, like right. his like um, it could be word of mouth. But I don't think he had a phone because you brought something up. That's like that. Like everybody knows about. I don't remember what it is that everybody knows about. And he was like, oh, what? Tell me about that. So I think he just likes learning. And he was going on and on about the things he knows. And he goes, sorry, I'm like a big nerd. <laughs> I was yeah, like, Aw. he just like, started talking about like technology and stuff and was getting yeah, he's excited. A smart guy. 
Yeah, baby, we're gonna need a new couch. This one's getting rusty. It's on the way. It, <laughs> Them springs are busted out in there. Yeah. Let me tell you, sleeping on th this was not comfortable. I wouldn't imagine it would be. By the way, I don't remember anything from that last podcast. Nothing. I was I was up at six thirty in the morning. Oh, cry me a river. Doing a podcast at six thirty in the morning as soon as you wake up. That's pretty that's pretty tough. It was early. It was early. And I just don't remember anything I talked about. Because you, were I was so, so worried I was gonna get canceled because I said something stupid. Because I just didn't remember anything I fucking talked about. That's all right. And that was the episode of Zane and Heath Unconscious. Uh huh. There we go. We found a way to put the joke in. <laughs> <laughs> We've only been talking about it for a week now. <laughs> um, before we wrap up the podcast, Kenny has something to share. We talked about it in the last episode, but now it's all set up, and we will be opening it up to you guys. So, Kenny, take it away. Yeah, so I uh, set up a phone line for Zane and Heath uh, to receive your guys' questions uh, so they can answer them on the set. Oh, that's About fucking exciting. I'm stoked. Um, so Hear I, you guys' voices. We can include the all the information down um, in the description below, but it'll have a number. You guys will call in, and you guys will kind of just uh, give us a brief little synopsis of yourself, and we'll hear what you guys want to ask. Um, so the basic instructions are going to be in the message that we're are leaving for you guys to listen to when you call in um, but yeah that's going to be up and running ready to go for the next episode so please guys leave a little message if you have a question you want us to answer and we'll try to get to it and oh that's so that's so much better than doing a q a we get to hear your guys's actual voices mm -hmm. on the podcast mm -hmm. Woo! thank you kenny you're welcome for that awesome idea we would have never thought of ourselves <laughs> all right but guys thank you so much for tuning in tuning in again to zany heath unfiltered we love you guys so much mm -hmm. you can listen to the audio of this podcast every monday on spotify on the apple podcast and all those other platforms and watch the video uh form of this podcast on youtube.com slash zane and heath very good he on tuesdays all that without stuttering on tuesdays i oh, Whenever I have something really long to say, I hold my breath, as you can tell. That's pretty good. Because I'm like, I, I start fucking rushing towards the end, just like I did right now. <sighs> yeah, we'll see you guys next week, and we love you very much. We love you so much. Bye, Bye, little Bye babies. Little